Quick backup for us back to Happy Valley on a Wednesday nights after our Monday meeting at Chartin. This is the second last meeting at Happy Valley as well. Eight races will be nine the following Wednesday night for the last. Very warm welcome to Racing to Win, though. I'm Andrew Lejeune, joined here in the studio by our former analyst Paul Lally and race caller Brett Davis as well. Brett, no feature race as such. It's actually a really good programme. It is, Andrew. Yeah, rail in the sea position. Uh, plenty of on-course activities. Bollywood theme commences, or continues, I should say. Um, and it'll be no doubt uh, enjoyed by many. It'll be a big crowd with warm weather here in Hong Kong. And as you say, a quick back up, but uh, we love a meeting at the Valley and it's just on our doorstep again. For some of us it is. <laughs> but do you mean literally on your I doorstep? Mean, yeah, literally, oh, right, right. as in like it's uh, tomorrow night. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> but ultimate meeting, no less, uh, Paul, and some nice jackpots. There's so. a couple of good ones. Uh, $2 million go into the triple trio and $1.8 million goes into the six-up win bonus. So a couple of really good ones there to get you started. As you say, it's always a good uh, meeting and the Bollywood theme continues. Yeah, it's been long running now, hasn't it? Yes. Wagner Borges makes his Happy Valley debut, as does Alfred Chan, Tempan yeah. Climber. Yeah, absolutely. So it'll be uh, a test for both, no doubt. We know the Valley's a hard track to ride at. Well, well I don't personally, <laughs> but I've been told it is. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they both um, handle it. Um, Alfie Chan's got a lot of front-running types, which mm. I think is a positive for him. Yeah. All right, so we'll get into that in uh, due course. But it was a... A big day on the Monday, the Hong Kong Reunification Cup was the feature. We're going to look back on now with our racing review. So it's race number seven for the Cup. Um, odds on favourite was Big Party. The big challenge looked to come from Thanks Forever, but Green Energy and a few others had something to say about it. Yeah, great training performance from Danny Shum. He wanted to retire this horse a few months ago and the owner said, no, take your time, we'll be patient. And uh, he sent him to Chunfa and he was able to uh, relax there and overcome a number of injuries, including uh, a tendon problem. He came out fresh here and uh, it was a fantastic win. Yeah, he's got a really good fresh up record when you look at it. He's had five goes fresh, won two of them, now won three. Uh, so that, that seems to be his go. And he's obviously enjoyed his time up at Chungfa. Mm. Gloria Spectrum's had problems too, and he's yeah. been uh, off the scene for a while. So it was a good run. And good to see Raging Storm come back to a bit of form as well, because I really liked him to start before, and I thought he was a little bit disappointing. Yeah, yeah. and a big win there for Dylan Moe as well. Gave the winner a, a super. I need to touch on Big Party and Thanks Forever as well, who yeah. both, for me, were flatly disappointed. I know they went hard early. Um, but Big Party curled up quite quickly. He did. Um, the trainers suggested maybe the good to firm surface wasn't to his liking. Uh, thanks forever, I believe, we'll back up to the 1400 metre class mm. two on the final day. So he's not done for the season, but Big Party is. Um, but look, Green Energy, fantastic, and Glorious Spectrum as well, both coming back from, uh, from long breaks due to injury and racing particularly well for those that followed. This was the very next race, a Thero. What a performance this was. Class record, Zach Burton barely had to move from barrier 14, a two-year-old, into open company. It's one of the best performances I've seen since I've been here in uh, Hong Kong, uh, for the local horses anyway. We've seen some really good international horses here, but, gee, he won nicely. And, uh, look, he got to the front, he relaxed, then he sprinted again, and it's very hard for horses to do that. Nevertheless, a two-year-old. Yeah, it's hard to believe he's two, isn't it? Just mm. when you look at the way he gallops, the way he moves, and even his uh, mentality as well. He's mm. very mature mentally. Um, Zach Purton, when he did switch him off, he actually sort of um, quite abruptly sort of slowed down and then um, just his, his momentum carried him to the wire. But, yeah, I'm with Paul. That's the most exciting performance I've seen from a young horse. I mean, we saw Pakistan Star a few seasons yeah. ago, different type of horse. He came from last. This one's zoomed across from the outside barrier, led all the way. Uh, I think it's fair to say sky's the limit. Yeah. He comes from a family of sprinters as well, but I do wonder, he looks like he'll, he'll get Doing further well, in, yeah. in time as oh, well. Just 1,400 straight to the front, just cruise along at a high speed. Mm. It'd be hard to see anything getting near him at the moment. Yeah. 14 points he got for that. Um, Green Energy got a whack as well. Buddies and uh, Victoria in the first an easy winner, one of two on the programme for Ala de Mayer. Yep, some nice horses uh, coming through. Buddies has obviously taken another step. Victoria won well again. Aldo de Mayer had a, a great afternoon. And uh, the return of Dealmaker, too, from a wide gate. Chad Schofield rode him very positive, and he was a big winner. And once again, Paul O'Sullivan put one in the back of the net, Paul, with hidden spirit. Yeah, the, he won nicely enough, didn't he? And uh, he's gone up eight there, as you can see. So he was down to a rating of 20. That's sort of normally the cut-off point at the end of the season, yeah. isn't it? So 28 saves him for next season. And uh, Casper Founds fans... Uh, we're pretty happy with the result in the last. Winning 50 to one. Yeah, 50 to 1. Fans and Purton, there you go. All right, those are the big winners uh, on the day. We'll see if we can find you some more with our horses to follow. All right.
right. Um, yours is in two parts, I think, Paul. We're looking at the start and the finish of this yeah, race, aren't we? Yeah, it's the Godfather, part one and two. Here we go. Here's the first part. You can see New Elegance. We've highlighted him there. Look, he went down on his knees, missed the start. Five lengths, Britt. Um, yeah, I reckon. Yeah, it was a bit, at least. And you can see him well back now. Into the straight, he, he tacked on the back. And the way he hit the line here over the 2,000 metres, I thought was really good. Uh, even 1,800 metres for him, as long as he gets a clean break. Uh, I, think, I think he would have gone close to being right in the finish here if he hadn't missed that start. So it was a really good run from him. We might get one more at him by, before the end of the season as well. So he's definitely one to keep an eye on. It was a good run. Certainly was. Mm, it's one of the four on the card for Pert and their Classic Beauty winning the race. What have you got, Brett? Um, I made Excel delight my each way um, selection on the day. I was quite keen that he'd run well. And then the more I looked at the race, I sort of got, went a bit cold on him because I thought Super Junior and Dancing Fighter would be hard to beat. I could have done what Paul did here and highlight the start. He was very slow. He drew barrier number 12, and there he is coming in the middle part of the track. Mm. Joe had to really uh, change course on him a number of times. He never really got into any real rhythm. He's still a work in progress, no doubt, but there is definitely something there, and I think should John Size continue with him uh, into next season, then he'll, he'll turn into a nice horse. Blastoise was an eye-catcher in that race as well. Yeah, I like the way he hit the line on debut. He, he ran fifth there just in front of him. So, yeah, that was another good run. All right. So, uh, for me, star of Yoon Long. Now, this was his first start. He had was supposed to have a start, and he got upset in the barracks. They had to scratch. He's a two-time winner out in New Zealand. Ole Ole was his name there. Murray Baker, Andrew Fawns, and trained him. Um, this is the Ethera race, so your eyes are sort of drawn to the winner. But you look back and see the ground that he makes up um, late... Uh, no chance, obviously, with Ethera, but I didn't think this was um, too bad. This is 1,200 metres. He's by McPhee. Ho-Ho Khan's by McPhee as well, but uh, he generally throws a qu quite a sharp type, and there's a family of sprinters on the dam side as well. So they might get a quick return if they can get him out again this season or not. But Yeah, I think when you analyse the fact that he's finished alongside of horses like Honest Way and other mm. horses that have been had pretty good seasons, that's a positive in his cap, de definitely. All right, that is Star of Yun Long. OK, moving on to Happy Valley, though, on Wednesday night. And at uh, this stage, Racing Luck is the horse that has been scratched. He's replaced by Jade Fortune. Derek Long will be in the saddle there. So race six, number two. And this is number 85, as far as the meetings are concerned, of the 88 for the season. All eight races, sea courses where we race on Wednesday night. Class five, 1,000 metre dash to uh, start the night. Headed by Storm Soldier into class five for the first time. Four metre Lord back in class. He's won in this grade in the past. Uh, great Sons, of course, in distance winner in April. Probably roll forward from barrier three. Exponents will give uh, Wagner Borges his first taste of Happy Valley. Whistle up, third last about behind uh, Very Sweet Orange. Uh, Nash Shook gets an inside gate here, Joe Moreira and Corvalon. The nine-year-old is a two-time course and distance winner. But you've got to go back a little way to find them. Formula Galore is the horse that's been up at uh, Chung Fai had a trip, came back on the 10th of June. Rail in the C position and class five, 1,000 metre dash to start the program. I think Great Sun from Barrier 3 can cross the two inside of him and find the rail. Whistle up, carry to win, likely to try and get forward too. Formula Galore is a horse who drops in class and he might try and be up on the speed as well. So it will be a decent charge down the back stretch as it often is over this distance. Uh, last time uh, Great Sun came to Happy Valley, he won. He's won his last two. Uh, he's had a run since over 1,400 metres at um, Charlton, which didn't suit him at all. But he's now back to 1,000. He's under a good hold here and he's a fit horse, barrier three, and he should be on the pace. So he's going well. Showing character. Another one they dropped back in trip. I was a little bit sceptical, actually. But his 1,000 metre record isn't that bad. And he's, he's a super fit horse at the moment. He's won off a high rating before as well. He's sort of known better as a sort of up to a 1650 metre race uh, horse. And Whistlup, he looks like he's going pretty well. Uh, he's going nicely as well. And, of course, he's a stable mate, a great son. Uh, so uh, Peter Ho's got a good a hold on this race, I think. Mm. All right, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at Whistlup in a moment. Let's start off with great son. Peter Ho and Matthew Poon will be on board. Uh, one over the 1,000 here. Next time, out, he won over the 1,200 metres as well, but this is back in April. Yep, and he jumped from four on this occasion with 119 pounds for Matthew Poon. He'll jump from barrier three but 129. So he's got the extra weight to carry, but it's in C position, the rail, as opposed to the A here. And I thought he ran a really good race. He's been progressive for you know, the last sort of four-fifths of the season, really, which is not a lot, really, but it's a, it's a fair bit for a Class 5. And I think he can find the front and he'll take all the running down. Yeah, I've got him in the numbers as well. I think coming back to Happy Valley is the key, isn't it? Yeah, so that looks definitely. Good for him. Yeah, down in trip as well, 1,400 for him last oh, yeah. time. Carry to win, whistle up and show mission here. Um, carry to win, faring best, but not by much. 
Show Mission has a good record course and distance. Seven starts, two wins, two seconds. He's drawn well. Uh, Whistleup's been a little bit hit miss throughout his career, but two of his last three have been solid. Yeah, and he's got Zach Purton aboard as well. Whistleup, I've got him in, but I am going to side with uh, Show Mission because he's a well-rated horse at the moment, and he just highlighted his course and distance record. He's going well. All right, so Formula Galore. Now he's a class dropper here in four starts in this grade. He's never been worse than third. True, that is true. Uh, barrier eight, and first time he'll try the thousand at the valley. So. Whether the sharpness of this race is just a little bit too much of a test for him through the first half, we'll have to wait and see. Early days of his career, he could actually sit back and close off strongly, so they may take that option, but he is a horse that hasn't missed the frame in the class. Yeah, obviously the class looks ideal. I don't know about the distance. I'm a little bit with you, Brett, from Barrier. Mm. All right, whistles up the favourite. Wide, though. Yeah, I've got him in there. Um, yeah, it's a real wide open race here. I'm going with uh, Show Mission. Uh, he's a well rated horse. I think he's good each way price at 10 to 1. Uh, showing character. He's looked good over the 1,000. Whistle up and Great Sun. So 7 4, 8 and 3. I'll stick with Great Sun. I think he's had a, a good end of the season and can probably notch up another win here. Showing character, carry to win, Show Mission. Uh, the main dangers, obviously, whistle up formula galore, others to consider, but three on top for me. Yep, three and four is uh, my cue as well there in the first event at Happy Valley on Wednesday nights. All right, race number one done and dusted, up in class, up in trip for race number two. That's up next. <laughs>